Hello and welcome to CRT. First off, if you came here looking for a review of your favourite graph, you're in the wrong place. I've had the OnePlus X for around three months, before that a Nexus 4 and before that a ZTE Skate. Before I say what I want to say, let's go over what OnePlus X want to say about their phone. The OnePlus X is equipped with a quad-core Snapdragon 801 CPU at 2.3 GHz with the Adreno 330 GPU and 3 gigs of LPDDR3. You get 16 gigs of eMMC memory which is upgradable to 128, which probably means that it's a 128 gig micro SD card plus 16 gigs. So let's go over now what I want to say. First of all the battery life is amazing. The OnePlus X houses a 2525 mAh lithium polymer battery and that's good enough to get me through, believe it or not, three days almost on a single charge. Which compared to my previous phone, well that would barely do one. A large part of these battery savings is probably down to the screen. The 5 inch 1080p OLED screen is topped off with a layer of Gorilla Glass 3. The colours are a little oversaturated, so especially on YouTube you notice the red looks a little bit over the top. But the blacks are so deep because of the OLED, the overall experience is still really good. So now, instead of letting your eyes sting from excessive brightness as you lay in bed at night, binge watching an entire YouTube channel worth of newly discovered videos, you will actually choose to watch it then, because the darkness exaggerates the screen's contrast ratio. So now let me ask you, how often do you use your phone to check the time? Quite often? Well, let me tell you, it's probably more than you realise, and it probably uses a lot more battery power than you realise. This brings me on to a nice feature of the OnePlus X. You can wave your hand over the phone, and it shows you the time, but just illuminating the pixels that are required to show you the time. To me, this goes a long way to saving a great deal of power. Sounds like a gimmick, I know, but I use it all the time. Here's another handy feature of the OnePlus X. Now, you don't have to press the power button to turn it on, you just double tap the screen and it comes on. It works a treat if your phone hasn't fallen off the desk already, but I'll come onto that in a bit more detail in a minute. The rear facing camera is 30 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture. It's faster focus and faster snap. It's not DSLR like in any way, don't expect S7 quality features from this. But it's good, it's sharp, the images are bright and vibrant, which to me is plenty good enough for a phone. It manages 1080p and 720p at 120 fps for slow motion. The selfie camera is an 8 megapixel camera with f2.4 aperture. Another thing I like is the dual SIM card slots or slash SD card slot. I mean clearly this is designed for the Asia market where dual SIMs are much more popular. For me in the UK I don't tend to travel to the excess that I need another SIM card so I just use the second as a SIM card. Um, micro SD card tray. And one last thing on the legs. I was a bit unsure about the placement of the power button. I'm used to it being towards the top corner of my Nexus 4 and I just thought it was going to be annoying having to now press a button in a different place but actually I have got used to it really quick. There's no buttons opposite it so you don't end up pressing the wrong button accidentally and it works really well. Now on to the slightly more grim parts, the dislikes. Now I'm sure we all take for granted. You put something down on a desk and it doesn't fall off. Not anymore. The back of the OnePlus X is so smooth that you put it down on a surface that's not perfectly flat and level and it just slides off. This has happened to me more than once where I've just sat it on a table side table next to me sitting down 30 minutes later bang and it's on the floor it just creeps ever so slowly across the surface to the edge and straight on the floor this is more than a little disappointing to me because I now can't use the phone without a case this frustrates me most because I hate cases with a passion I know engineers and designers as have put possibly hundreds or thousands of hours into designing the phone its aesthetic making sure everything fits flush and works fine and yet now we come along with a cheap case, plastic, bit rubbish, put it on over the top, all the design work can't be seen. 
Yeah, okay, you could argue that all the electronic design work you don't really see either, but it's the aesthetic of the phone. You almost get your first impressions from the aesthetic and it just covers them up. To add to the pain of this case malarkey, the rubber case that comes with the phone is nasty. I mean, yes, it fits, ish, but the edges sort of sort of sag out, they don't sit properly flush against the phone, the buttons become all mushy and funny. If you want to get this phone, I'd get a case from the OnePlus website as you buy the phone. They do have cases in sort of carbon, rosewood or whatever they call it, bamboo and other things. So I'd pick one of those up. Mine's the rosewood and I think it looks quite nice. Next we come on to the speakers at the bottom of the phone. I'd rather they weren't at the bottom, but they do sound quite good. When they get to sort of 70-80% volume or anywhere above that, they do start to distort a bit, but by that point they are quite loud, so not perfect, but not, not terrible. The last point I have is almost just a bit of confusion. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but I've no idea why you'd use it, and that's the alert slider. To me it seems like a waste of time, I can't see why it's there. And to be honest, it gets in the way a bit. The buttons are a bit difficult to slide. You end up pressing the volume and power buttons and everything at the same time as trying to slide it. It's not very smooth, it's not very easy to move. A couple of other closing points. There's no AC Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth 4.0. There's also a notification light on the top right of the phone. I actually quite like this. The color of the light changes depending on the notification source. And that's all you're gonna hear from me today. Thanks for watching, like the video if you liked it or you thought it was informative.